Hello everyone, welcome to this new episode of uh, Where is the Music? Today I'm gonna talk about something that has been on top of my head for, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 years. Uh, it's not music, it's not piano, it's harmony. I certainly don't want to give a harmony class, uh, but I want to share the beauty of harmony through a composition that uh, I have took me some years to appreciate and learn. It's, this is Dolphin Dance by Herbie Hancock. It's a, uh, a masterpiece of uh, harmonic compositions and of course it's considered one of the um, uh, highlights of uh, modern jazz composition. It's a famous standard. It's a uh, it's not unusual to find it played in a uh, uh, jam session and also a lot of people have uh, recorded throughout the years. So I'm not gonna give names of the chords today. I'm not gonna talk about tonics or dominance. I'm just gonna talk about the, uh, the aspect of uh, uh, tension versus uh, uh, equilibrium that different chords have and uh, the way in which uh, Herbie and Cook have chosen very wisely uh, these chords to follow one another in a way that uh, accomplishes pretty much two things necessary for good music first is a, uh, a balanced sense of surprise uh, every turn every harmonic turn is a surprise but balanced in such a way that we are not uh, getting distracted by it we are not uh, overly surprised we still want to know what's the next turn and uh, the second uh, feature uh, of this uh, masterwork I believe is uh, its ability to just uh, repeat itself in a loop uh, without pretty much going g giving the feeling that it's repeating itself and um, which is actually quite common for for standards um, this piece is is long enough but at the same time short enough to to make sure that uh, its own repetition doesn't sound um, doesn't sound obvious so I'm gonna just uh, play it to you uh, maybe the first uh, few few lines and see see what happens Okay, you, you probably heard the first arrival, this uh, beautiful... Already a lot has happened and uh, I would say melodically nothing has happened. We heard and again and pretty much again and again. That's not really, uh, that's not really neither original uh, or particularly meaningful nor interesting per se but the harmony uh -huh. that's a way more interesting story isn't it so uh, it seems like the first uh, arrival point, as I was saying, it's here, but it doesn't stay for long. Mm -hmm. 
another arrival point. So here something melodic starts happening. And then uh, it is true, something is happening, although it's still quite uh, quite simple and uh, there is no really a strong uh, uh, thematic mm, thematic force here but harmonically uh, I'm gonna go back from the previous spot Once again, the harmonic story is so much more interesting. Now, before I continue, what has happened harmonically? Why is it uh, so fascinating? Well, a good composer is able to show you the direction in a way that you can foresee it, can expect what's about to happen, and then politely and gently take you in an alternative direction in a sense he's telling you two things at once look how beautiful it is going in this direction but also enjoy this other direction that I'm taking you and uh, this is a very playful way of uh, creating art kind of joining a conversation with uh, either the artist or the audience uh, it's a very uh, it's a very human way of looking at uh, creativity. So even just the first two chords. Uh -huh. You could hear that the first one, it's very open, very solar, and then very lunar. Uh, I don't know if this translates in Italy, it's uh, sun and moon. Then again the sun. Then taking a you expect the moon again, but okay, this is uh it's getting gets it's getting deep here. Okay, where are we going? Ah, okay, we are back to the previous one, but going away again. That's the first arrival point, the one that we said earlier. Given this arrival point, we will not expect... Can you hear how every, every arrival point <laughs> is actually a starting point? I play this again. feel like uh, each chord is a possible word to discover but Herbie Eckhoff doesn't give us enough time at once it leaves us uh, incomplete but at, on the other side it, it keeps us uh, wanting more keeps us uh, asking for for more where are you taking us where is this going so let's continue again melodically it's exactly uh, it's exactly as the beginning really 
poor. However, despite uh, uh, despite the chords are quite rich and uh, un not intuitive and not logical, there is a sense of more stability. Huh? Given by this uh, very long note in the bass. So we are probably searching for, we are probably hoping for a final a climax and here probably we have. And here we go, these crazy chords are, are to get to our climax. Uh, it's just moving in a circular way just through this world of colors and waves of, uh, of feeling that uh, each bar is a, is a different one each bar is a uh, uh, is a turn somewhere else um, this is the type of music for which I'm thankful for being a pianist because with a pianist I can really uh, take each chord and um, find each note <laughs> and be able to hear it all at once uh, if i was a saxophone player or or a bass player certainly i will appreciate it but i might have more difficulty in uh, uh, myself in finding uh, how a particular color of a chord can be um, can be built through the single choice of notes and this is something that uh, uh, I think a jazz pianist might appreciate even better than um, than anyone else. Um, so if you do know the standard Dolphin dance, or if you do have it, or if you um, if you know it, perhaps you want to uh, go back to it and uh, and learn it, trying to forget about the names of the chords, but trying to engage in this uh, 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 discovery of colors that Herbie Hancock has set pretty much in every bar. Um, this is a, a great opportunity for uh, creativity because every sound, every chord gives us uh, a sense, uh, gives us a, a, a look on a, in a new direction. Um, so what best do you want from, from jazz? Um, so something like this. Thank you. 
if anything uh, dolphin dance is uh, probably just an image that inspires uh, a very playful way of uh, swimming the one that uh, only someone like a dolphin can afford uh, just uh, just freely absolutely um, careless absolutely uh, free um, that is probably the message that uh, um, this piece could uh, inspire to an improviser just have fun have fun with these colors i hope you enjoy my uh, take on uh, dolphin dance uh, let me know uh, in the in the comments or or let me know in other ways and i look forward to our next uh, meeting here at the where is the music podcast all the best everyone <laughs>